Hey guys, this is Abom, and this is how to beat Heroic Anubricon. Now, this is the deck I would use if I wasn't really concerned about uh, people uh, being on a budget with their decks. Now, this deck is a little bit different than my free-to-play deck, but let's just go through it. Um, I have some ways to deal 4 damage, which is your, you're going to see is a big theme in this deck. So, I got my Soul Fires, I got my Shadow Bolts, and then I got some some other 4 damage cards in here. Um, and otherwise, my cards are mostly th uh, have 3 attacks, like these Knife Jugglers plus Knives, which hopefully go into the uh, Nerubians for an extra damage. I have Mortal Coil for an extra damage. Uh, Wolf Rider and Scarlet Crusader not only don't have Battle Cries to avoid the Web Lord, um, but they also deal 3 damage, and they're pretty good at doing it. Now, these can be replaced for other cards, which you'll see in my other deck. Uh, but the basic theme is be able to do 4 damage, be able to do it early, and control the board, and win the late game. Now this deck is a little different because I'm running Void Terror, um, Ancient Watcher, Defender of Argus, Sun Fury Protector, and Shadow, Shadow Flame. So there's a lot of combos here, uh, mainly the Void Terror combo. The, the AI doesn't run Silence, so Void Terror can ab run absolutely rampant if you get it with some Ancient Watchers. Otherwise, your Ancient Watchers can be used to clear the Nerubians by dealing 4 damage, again, as we said. Spellbreaker, I didn't really find too useful when I um, when I did this on my own. But Karen and Myxna were definitely great cards. Uh, Myxna is great for dealing with um, the 4-4s, four because it can deal with two of them. And if they play the 2-8 Taunt guy, you can easily kill it, too. Now, here's my free-to-play deck. We're not going to be running any of the Combo, Wombo, Void Terror, Shadow Flame, uh, Ancient Watcher, because those are all rare cards. So we don't have anything that gives us taunt except for this Shield Senjin. So the cards here, uh, I just added some 3-drops that were commons, Blood Fen, Fairy Dragon. It really doesn't matter. If you have Knife Juggler, I strongly recommend it. Ooze can also be used here. Uh, the 3-drops don't really change anything in this matchup. As, lo as long as they have 3 attack, and I meant 2 drops. I added Jungle Panther as like a, a second Shadow Bolt. Uh, Chill Wind Yeti and Dark Iron Dwarf for just more ways of dealing 4 damage or buffing these cards into dealing more than 4 damage. I used Star Pike Commando not only because of the 4 damage, but also because of the additional damage. And Boulder Fist Ogre is great for the late game. And otherwise, I have my typical ways of dealing 4 damage. Uh, with the soul fire, soul fire and the shadow bolt. So I'm gonna go and show you how to beat heroic uh, Anubricon. So here we are at the mulligan screen. Uh, basically, as I said before, the main problem with Anubricon is having to deal three, four damage and having to deal it early. Uh, so shadow bolt is a nice card to see in our hands. We can take care of one of the things uh, with the pretty man efficient play. Uh, Boulder Fist Ogre we really don't want, it's more of a late game card, and Mortal Coil is great, except we don't want it taking up space in our hand, and uh, it's better when it's paired with the 3 attack. So it's a shame we got another Boulder Fist, Wolf Rider is going to do uh, some good, and there you go, another Mortal Coil. I just can't get these cards out of my hand. Okay, so we're going to have a little slow start, it would have been really nice to get a 2 drop or, or 1 drop. Uh... Okay, well, he's going to play this card. So this is the other one. You sort of have to deal 4 damage. But I also tried to make sure that my my cards didn't really have battle cries. That's why I run cards like Chill Wind Yeti. Not only for the stats and the ability to deal 4 damage, but also uh, because they're, they don't have battle cries like the Stormpike Commando. Okay, so here I'm just going to take care of this guy. And uh, we're going to play more of a control matchup. We just want to keep pressure on the board. You know, that's been a common theme uh, throughout all these games. Um, so, again, mana efficient play. Play the Yeti. And, um, all right, so we're going to trade the Yeti into the Nerubian. We're going to use the Wolf Rider. Let's see if he has another play up his sleeve. Okay, nope. All right, we're going to use the Nolt Wolf Rider on the Shade of Naxxramas to take care of it now rather than later. And with our remaining mana, I think I'm just going to play the Bloodfin Raptor. There we go. 
So hopefully he trades this into this, uh, and that way we can... Okay, good. So now we, we have access to our Stormpike Commando. Might be able to be doing something with that. Uh, this is a really easy way to deal 4 damage and not have to worry about all my other cards, and we'll just play out the Jungle Panther. It's sort of like, the Jungle Panther is sort of like a delayed, um, I don't know, what are they called? Delayed, um, Shadow Bolts. Um, and the upside is that it can do damage to the face. Alright, we're taking a lot of damage. Now, once I got my Boulder Fist Ogre out on the board, um, we're gonna be able to, um, take care of more than one Nerubian. Um, another alternative you could play for Boulder Fist Ogre is my Exna, and there are disadvantages and advantages to playing my Exna. The advantages are that you can obviously take care of two eights like this, and that you have one more health, but the disadvantage is that you can't go face, so in the late game, you won't be, you won't really be able to control, um, and do as much damage but you will be able to take care of more guys. The one health really isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion. Uh, so here, let's, let's think what our mana-efficient play of the day is going to be. Uh, I, I was considering using the Demon Fire, but now that we have access to the Dark Iron Dwarf, this is definitely a play with too much value. You cannot turn that one down. And let's see what we get. Another Boulder Fix. That is a huge play. And that's why you want to have some late game cards in there, especially mulligan them away. And with our remaining mana, uh, I think I just want to cycle my hand. So I'm going to kill this haunted creeper and draw some cards. Uh, I just want a more powerful hand in play. And now that I don't have to rely on these wolf rider plus mortal coil combo or uh, scarlet crusader plus mortal coil combos, I'm a little more free to get rid of the mortal coils and draw into my big late game cards. Okay. So we do have to slow him down a little. That's why we have the taunts. And I think I'm going to trade... Hmm, how am I going to do this? I'm going to trade like this. I don't really want to give away my ogres for free, and I'm going to deal some damage to this guy. Hopefully he doesn't play that 7 mana card. Okay, he's probably going to play it. Oh god, this is going to be bad. Okay, no, he's not going to play it. The 7 mana card that deals 3 damage to all your opponents. Um, while it does waste a turn of his, it's really not what you want to see. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. They do not They do some really inefficient trades sometimes, so you just have to make sure that you can, you know, use your low health creatures and trade them for these big plays. And now we can just start wrecking his face. And this is why I like having Boulder Fist instead of my Aixna. Uh With the remaining mana, I'm getting low on health. I can't really... If, if he board clears me, I won't really be able to do anything. Uh, this is resistant to board clear. so And we don't want to waste this battle cry in the face. So uh, hopefully we can... Hopefully we can control the board. Uh, that's a little sideways, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's still sideways. I've never seen that glitch before. Blizzard seems to keep getting these weird glitches. Um, Alright, let's see. I'm definitely going to trade this away. Uh, I think I want to have... I could trade here, but the problem with that is that then I don't... I'm a little weaker to board clear. Okay, we're back, and uh, I just made this trade, or this trade right here, and so my plan was to go like this and get the Yeti out. I was really scared that I was going to have to restart my recording, but good thing I don't have to. Alright, so he's probably going to trade this into there, and I don't really need to worry about these 1-1s. And the part I really like about the Stormpike Commando is not only does it have a battle cry, but it's also really disposable, so I can throw it away and not let it, you know, take damage from these silly 1-1s. And here I think it's more efficient to go face because we have 12 damage next turn. And so now the AI should start to be concerned about me killing him rather than me being... Oh, well, he looks like he's not concerned at all, which I'm okay with. Um, I should be a little concerned, because he does have lethal if I don't do anything. 
Uh, so we'll just trade away a little. Uh, but now we have 11 damage incoming. He's not really in the position to be able to be scared, uh, but he should be. Okay, Anubricon. Uh, this is when I kind of wish I had a Mortal Coil, but then again, I wouldn't have ha these cool guys on the board. Uh, I definitely do not want to play the Flame Imp. Probably going to trade this away just to be safe and go for the face. Now he should be concerned about... Actually, I'm going to play the Flame Imp. The reason being is if he trades this, I don't have anything. I don't have lethal. So he's going to need a little more than a Frostbolt, which he doesn't have. So it looks like I'm going to win. No! Okay, I still won. I still won. I thought he was gonna, like, um, I don't know, do some crazy alchemy where I have only have zero attack or something. I don't know. Oh, that, anyway, that's how I beat it. So, basically, um, the theme of this deck, really, is being able to do four damage, being able to do it early. Sometimes you have to use some combos with Demon Fire or Mortal Coil, but otherwise you can just use your Shadow Bolts, um, and uh, in the late game, if you draw into those soul fires, those are crucial because as you saw, my hand was mostly empty. I was pretty reluctant to be tapping. So what I could do was I could just use a soul fire and kill him uh, and his four fours without having to deal with my board. You do want some late game like my ex or Boulder Fist just so you can uh, deal with more than one Nerubian. And uh, cards like Jungle Panther uh, were really mana efficient as well. So hope that helped, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.